first method we'll look at is the silhouette. First, before we talk about the silhouette feature, let's talk about where we can find the spl split line tool. The split line tool is found in your default curves split line. You can also find it by searching your commands. So I can easily search for split line, click and drag it out to my command tab and set it to easily use it for next time. So let's go ahead and activate split line. And there we'll see that there are three types, the silhouette, projection, and intersection. Each will require different inputs in order to be executed. For the silhouette feature, we'll need a plane and we'll also need a face to split. So the plane, you can imagine, the silhouette feature is often useful for creating the outermost geometry, meaning it will create the outline as viewed from a specific, specified input plane. So in this case, the specified input plane would be the direction of pull, and it's often useful for creating mold design and creating cavities. When selecting the plane, imagine which plane when viewed normal to would give the desired output. In this case, I have two planes to choose from. So the first plane that I will use is one right inside of the sphere. As far as the face, I'm going to choose the face of the outside of the sphere. I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And you'll notice that if I view the geometry from above, normal to, then you'll see that the outline created is the outermost geometry. Let's look at one more example. The next example I'm going to show is looking at a plane offset from the sphere. In this case, how will the split line tool result? I'm going to go ahead and go to silhouette again and choose my plane and choose the face. In this case, I'll have two faces, the bottom as well as the top. Click OK. And looking at it from the second plane's normal two view, I'll see that the outermost edge again is that edge that was created. And this time I have two edges because I had two faces, the bottom and the top. The next method that we'll take a look at is the projection method. The projection method is useful for creating an isolation of an area by creating a face. This is useful when features require a specific area or a face. This is the case in simulation. In simulation, we can often specify what face we would apply a fixture or a force to. And in this case, since I only have one single face, it might be hard to create that there exists a force maybe one millimeter at the end of my plate here. So what I'll do is create a sketch on top of this face. And this sketch needs to encompass the boundaries of my the face and I'll go ahead and exit my sketch all I did is create a straight line next I'll go ahead and activate the split line tool again I'm gonna move down to the projection method and in this case now I have two inputs I need a sketch to project as well as faces to split the sketch to project will be the single line I'll select that in the screen and then the face to split would be the face that we talked about before and here I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And you'll notice now that you have a face to select away from the main face before. And that was the project tool. Next we'll look at the intersection tool. The intersection tool is useful if you have surfaces that interact with solids. It will create a line at the intersection between two types of faces. You can think of the two types being the splitting face and the target face. Let's go ahead and activate the split feature. Next, we'll go to intersection, and here we have the two inputs, the splitting bodies, faces, or planes, as well as the faces slash bodies to split. <clears throat> I'm going to create a quick surface using a swept surface. I have two sketches already. I have a straight line as well as a path. So I'm going to create a swept surface coming from the bottom to the top in a curved fashion. So in this case, I'm going to go ahead and add a twist in revolutions and you'll notice that the sweep is twisting. So I'll go ahead and activate my split line feature, go to intersection and choose my two faces, click OK. And you'll notice now that I have a line that represents the intersection of the two faces. Now what we can do with this is go over to 3D sketch, use convert entities, take that line that was created So now we have a 3D line created pretty easily.
that was three ways to use Splitline in SolidWorks. Thank you for watching.